In a standard character animation workflow, animators often manually create keyframes and perform iterative editing to align the results with their artistic vision. To reduce the time for manual keyframing, recent methods have enabled fine-grained spatial control for motion synthesis. However, existing methods often lack support for local motion modification and struggle to achieve precise control that balances fine-grained and coarse-grained control signals. Building on these limitations, we present Auto Keyframe, a novel framework that tackles motion synthesis and editing by generating keyframes directly under the control of 3D root trajectories and flexible sparse spatial constraints on specific joints. Our framework enables precise local edits through adjustments to individual keyframes. In this example, we first generate a fighting motion using only trajectory control. We then regenerate two keyframes in the sequence with additional spatial constraints for editing, allowing the character to perform a kick and a punch. Notably, the modifications are limited to the motion between the adjusted keyframes, and the results faithfully preserve the original motion. In another example, we generate keyframes of a character climbing upstairs. Notice that there is obvious penetration and misstep in the original motion. Then we edit the keyframes to allow the character to make contact with the stairs, imposing only four position constraints. This example demonstrates that our control paradigm enables a unique combination of global planning and precise local adjustments, significantly reducing the manual input required, particularly for long-term motions involving complex environmental interactions. Now we introduce our method in detail. We first train an autoregressive keyframe diffusion model, AKDM. Given a 3D root trajectory with user-specified keyframe timing, AKDM auto-regressively takes the previous keyframe, action label, and various control signals derived from the trajectory to generate a new keyframe. Complete motions can be obtained by infilling the generated keyframes using established motion completion techniques. AKDM also facilitates precise and flexible spatial constraints on specific joints during keyframe generation. This is enabled by our skeleton-based gradient guidance method. At each denoising step, we compute a goal function that estimates the distance between the predicted joint positions and the target. The gradient of this function is then propagated to the predicted mean using a gradient mask that selectively masks out parts of the joints. This mask is gradually updated throughout the denoising process according to the skeleton structure, resulting in more natural guidance results. We first compare the motion generation quality of our method and three baselines under dense control signals over the root joint. In this aiming action, our method generates high-quality cross-step movements with almost no footscape. Although Omni-Control produces footsteps that align with the trajectory, the result still suffers from obvious footscape. In contrast, the motions from MDM and HGHOI show almost no foot movement. Then we present an example of falling and getting up, where issues like floating and ground penetration are likely to arise. Our method produces the most plausible motion with minimal floating and penetration. Omni Control also generates results with little floating and penetration, but it exhibits unnatural turning when getting up. In contrast, MDM and HGHOI ignore the height change, resulting in significant floating and penetration. In another example of sprinting, our method produces results that closely align with the trajectory demonstrating a natural deceleration before the turning point and showcasing a reasonable change in motion tempo. The results from Omni Control fail to reach the turning point. Moreover, the results of MDM and HGHOI do not reflect the necessary motion changes at the turning point. Next, we compare the control accuracy between our method and Omni Control under mixed dense and sparse control signals. In the previously shown example of walking upstairs with the sparse control signals as contact points, the character in our result steadily steps on the steps. In contrast, Omni Control follows the trajectory control but neglects the sparse control signals on the stairs, resulting in missed steps. In another aiming example, we control the hand position to direct the character toward the outside of the screen. The results generated by our method accurately adhere to this control. Omni Control once again neglects this sparse control, resulting in a motion that turns the character away from the screen. To validate the applicability of our method, we also conduct a user study, involving professional animators to provide control inputs and participants to rate the generation and editing results. Our results received positive feedback in this study. For more details, please refer to our paper. 
To demonstrate the generalizability of our model, we conduct experiments with modified user inputs. We first show a base example of fighting. We modify the root position height by plus 25 centimeters from frame 70 to 105 and minus 30 centimeters from frame 170 onwards. The generated result maintains natural human kinematics. Then we substitute the action label from fight to walk and jump. The generated results maintain both trajectory adherence and clear style differentiation corresponding to each action type. Using the same input case, we show visual results of the ablation study. We first show result generated by the non-autoregressive version of our model, which displays noticeable artifact in the later part of the motion. We demonstrate versions without velocity and height control signals, revealing visible body incoordination and foot ground penetration. Finally, we present results from models trained without our keyframe dataset, where outputs lack expressive combat movements like kicks and punches. Thank you for watching.